Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna to talk about five things I hate about our 23 RDX A-Spec. Don't get me wrong, this thing is perfect. This is probably the best vehicle we've ever bought. Like, in my opinion, these five things that's on this list, kind of, uh, it's kind of nitpicking. Oh yeah, we just watched it by the way, because it needed to, you guys will see why further on in the vlog. But yeah, these these things are nitpicking, but I'm gonna be honest though. I'm we have 5,000 miles on this thing, so we've driven this thing and been pretty comfortable with it. And I gotta put you guys on. Number one is going to be the windshield. I don't know if Acura, when they made this exact model, they made our windshield out of tissue or something, but we cracked this thing twice. I've had this thing for like what three four years and got one chip the 22 civic that we traded in for this we had that for about a year some change almost two years no crack we had a 15 civic before this and we had that thing for like three years no crack i had um oh, orange don't count because i had that car for less than a year i believe now we did just take a trip you guys have seen the video we took a trip and went to santa fe and uh, it was fine but for some reason when we went to arizona we had two chips in that one trip we got a nasty crack here on our way to arizona and i've never heard a pebble it's not even a pebble i think it was a boulder we got another chip we just fixed this one and then we got another one right here it's a smaller one but we got another one first i don't know what that's about but yeah that's number one number two is going to be this guy right here so the rdx has a remote start but only on the acura link app now, when you buy a 23, you get the remote start, like the Acura Link for free, like the remote and the concierge and all that stuff. You get it for free for like three years. When we had our Civic, our 22, remote start on the key, we had a 2020 Touring CRV, remote start was on the key. Then you spend in $50,000, you don't get remote start on the key. Now, granted, most vehicles, I don't know why luxury cars don't like to have um, remote start on the key fob itself. Everyone, I guess, prefer to use the app. But I think if you get the advanced package, so the package right above the R-Spec, you get remote start built in on the key, but I feel like the A-Spec should have had it. Number three. So we're inside the RDX right now. One thing I don't like is another thing. I'm spending $50,000. I should get a bird's eye view, 360 backup camera, something. This thing has a normal um, backup camera, but if you're spending $50,000, I feel like that should have been in there. Granted, if you get the level, I think above this too, that also pretty much some of the features that the advanced package have that's above the A spec has some of these things that I have. But besides like the two, three things, I, did, I didn't want an advanced package. Like I like the A spec package. I think this is a, a good value for what you're paying for. So when you're in this price range, you don't get all the stuff standard in certain uh, manufacturers. So I'm, I like that Acura it does have a lot of stuff bundled in. In the beginning of the video, I said that these things are nitpicking. These things are not a deal breaker. I, we still went with this trim level because we knew it didn't have these features, but it's really hard to make a video of what we like hate about this thing because this thing's almost perfect. I mean, no car is really perfect, but it's almost perfect. So it's really hard. So I have to use the nitpicking things to kind of break it down yeah you put this thing in reverse you have a normal backup camera now Acura does give you a multi-link backup camera so you have three different views but i'm not about to turn this thing on i'm in the garage i'm not about to pass out but yeah it has a normal backup camera all right now we're down to number four well keys in my hands i put three fingers but number number four number four you know what i'm talking about all right so let's get in the back seat and we sent in the back seat now oh yeah i love this interior this interior is a beautiful but the rear seats have no heated back seats. I feel like in this price range, you should have had heated back seats. If you move up the next trim, you also, do you get heated back seats? I think you do get heated back seats too if you get the advanced package. But I feel like Apex should have had heated back seats. Now granted, we had a, let me see, the CRV Touring didn't have heated back seats either, which was a miss from Honda, in my opinion. But if we're in Acura, I feel like in this, in this segment, in the ace bag it should at least get heated back seats you do get heated front seats and you get ventilated front seats so aka people call it cooling but it's ventilated front seats so i'm not going to really complain about that well when we were buying the vehicle i didn't really care about the heated back seats because it's me and shelly and we're mostly in the front 
And if we have kiddos, they spoil so they'll need no heated back seats. Like, what type of, you know? Like, they're going to grow up in this thing. This thing is really nice. And, and so, who cares about heated back seats? But, yeah, they don't have heated back seats. And so, that's another thing. And we made it to number five. So, the fifth thing that I don't like about the RDX is the tail lights are not full LED. So, the brake lights is on. So, you can see that's LED. The reverse lights is LED. But this turn signal is a regular bulb. Why is that? Is it, is it breaking a bolt, right? I have to make sure it's not, though. It's bugging. But yeah, the turn signals are not LED. They should have made this whole thing LED. I mean, it still looks beautiful. That wasn't a big deal to me either, which is why we still got this. But I think even on the next trim up, it's still, I think none of, I think all the RDXs have uh, a regular bolt for the turn signal. They should have made that LED. They should make the whole thing LED. But I know Honda, Acura, they like to do the combination regular bulb led so not really surprised but i feel like that would have been a nice option to have led turn signals but still that's like a first world problem who cares right just like that that is the five things i hate about my Acura rdx i'm laughing because i don't really i don't really hate it at all it's just that's what i could find to make this video how beautiful the headlights are and the daytime runners this this car is just a beautiful car like Every time I see this thing, like every time we park and I look back, I just double take every time. I'll just, I'm just like, wow. Like, besides my Civic, I've never had a vehicle where every time I park, I have to look back and take a look at it. Like every time me and Shelly go out and we just park this thing, it's just beautiful. This is just a fine piece of machinery. Now that we got the five things I hate about the RDX out the way, now it's time for our trip so by the time you're watching this this is me and shelly's one year anniversary since we've been married and to celebrate we are going to santa fe and we're gonna go to we got some free tickets to meow wolf and we haven't been there in a few years and we're also gonna try a new vegan spot and we're just gonna explore you know to spend time with each other and just embrace that it's been a year since we've been married already like a year has been passed already it's crazy also, we're going to take a look at some houses and kind of get an idea on our next house. You know, like we love this house. This house is beautiful. This is our first house, you know, but we do want to start a family and then we do want to kind of plan ahead when we get bigger, all that good stuff and kind of just be ready to know what we want. You know, like once it's time to get another house, we know already. So we're going to go to some open houses and kind of check out some houses and kind of just get an idea on something newer. So we're gonna get into it right now. For Michelle. Would you like anything else? Um, can we add a water cup as well? Yeah, what size for you? Oh, what size? A small one. A grande. A grande. Anything else? That'd be all. Perfect, I'll see you up here. All right, thank you. Now, this tell you right in front of us just destroyed his tire. Are you beautiful? All right, so we should have been there right now, and we still have another 20 minutes to get there. So, you know, we're on black people time, but we should get there. We'll be all right. We made it here to Meow Wolf, and look at the line. Damn. So, if you don't know what Meow Wolf is, it's a place in Santa Fe in New Mexico. It's about 45 minutes from Albuquerque. and No, I'm lying. It's about an hour from Albuquerque. And Meow Wolf is a place where there's all types of different rooms. There's a lot of like um, interactions. There's like secret, like hidden passages and hidden ways. And there's like a uh, clues and there's like mysteries to solve. And it's just a good place to bring the family, the kids. It's almost like a amusement park, but there's no rides. You know, you're walking around and you're gonna see in this video. So if you see like a lot of different weird like colors and imagery and patterns and just all types of just different stuff. That's what Meow Wolf is. I mean, the name of the place is called Meow Wolf, you know, but this is our third time or second time going here, but we haven't been here in a few years. 
So there's a lot of different things they added to, there's a lot of different rooms and stuff they added. So, but yeah, I'm gonna take you guys with me and just check this thing out. This thing is fire. So we're inside. We, technically we're by the bathrooms. We haven't started yet. We're about to start. And I'm gonna take you guys to this interesting place. <laughs> Here's the beginning. I guess we start in this house. Wow, it's dark. We're inside the fridge. We're in Bermuda. Okay. We got, what's up, bro? How you doing? Towels. Oh, it's a seat. That's cool. Yeah, sit down. Oh, you want a picture? Oh. This is crazy. Oh, look, the arcade thing in here. People in the trees. Oh, you can actually play this? Oh yeah, I'm about to destroy Shirley in this. Of course, Shirley loves the room with all the pink stuff in here. Now you gotta climb through this weird thing, Majiggy. I'm gonna rip my dress off. Oh, this is yeah, this is weird. Just climb up this weird contraption thing. Oh, it's just it's a circle. Yeah. Oh look, it's like a little. You wanna go in the tree? <laughs> oh, it's a tree house. Have you ever been in a tree house? I've um, never been in this We tried place. to make one in, in, uh, back in New York. I don't remember being in this last time. I think I remember. I don't know if I remember this thing. Yeah, this place is interesting. It's a bunch of just, bunch of just all types of stuff. Sure. We got a missing hamster. Oh no, you're okay. You know what it reminds me of? What? Uh, what were the caves that you went to? Like the, the, the Carlsbad? Carlsbad Cafe. I think somebody stole the toilet seat cover. Oh, you can see someone in there. What's in there? What's like a oh, the person? Floating? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's weird. <laughs> That's yeah, weird. That's the toilet. That is. <laughs> Are you flushing? I'm going to take out washing the purse. So Shelly's about to... Go into the washing machine? She's about to go wash herself in the washing machine. I'm getting claustrophobic. Okay. How am I going to do this? It's a slide. Oh my god! Okay, I guess I'm going in there too. Look at all the clothes! Oh my god. Oh, look at the... Uh, look at the vice grips. Those are nails. Wow. I think these stuff are made out of like weird stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, look, that's Q-tips. Made out of Q-tips over there. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, look, it's a doll. It's a whale made out of a little baby whale. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, 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 that's
this is a bunch of Oh. <laughs> it's a bunch of pipes and water and stuff. Look at the look at the chairs and the, the half chairs. Oh, oh they oh yeah these are bad eat. They got crabby patties. I'm cr those are pretty patties. I'm crying. Man. On the outside they got stuff too. Look, huge spider. Uh, look at Ruby looking beautiful. Even though she's dirty. She's, she's actually not that bad. Uh, she's not that bad. So we finished with Meow Wolf time to get something to eat. Um, we found a spot that is a new spot we've never been to. Vegan options. And they have something I saw on the list I definitely want to try. So we're going to head over there and see what they're about. to the spot look like this place is a restaurant bakery yoga massages all type of stuff all in one so the food look good from the menu that we saw so let's check this thing out yeah look you got yoga stuff you got the restaurant you have like bath stuff you can buy clothes that's pretty cool hey how you doing it's like a i've never been somewhere like that clothes restaurant all in one where is it on this side oh Oh, that's one on your menu? Where's your vegan? Oh, I see. Do you see it? Yeah. yeah. That's cool. They have vegan options. Plant proteins you can add. This place is super nice. So they got plant-based steak. I think I'm going to try that. I think it's 20 beans. It better be A1. And they got plant-based chicken. What is this show for? I see how A1 this thing is. The drink that I got is with, I think, um, apple, carrot, ginger, beet, a few things. A little flour inside, just top of the dish. Oh my God. This place behind me is, we've never, I've never been to a place like this. Food was A1. Everything A1. Back with Ruby. Time to head back to Albuquerque. Actually, no, we're gonna go to Target first. We're gonna go to a Target out here, and then we gotta pick up some goodies, and then we're gonna head back to Albuquerque. Good experience. Of course. Of course. Oh, Shelly want me to show this off too. Just picked up some mats, and a few things we gotta take off on the list. Purify is down here, right? I know we're getting close. Purify should be around here somewhere. Or not. Can we pass it? Can we pass it? I don't remember it being all the way down here. Okay, these are soda stuff. It's probably back up the way we came. Oh, Alright, we found the aisle. Shall we just kick the ball? Good job. Yo, imagine somebody walk by so <laughs> drop. Imagine somebody walking by because you kick the ball, they run up in the air and drop on their neck. Oh I would have been crying. I ain't gonna front. Shelly would have felt bad, but I would have been dead. Huh? Oh, she kicked the ball too? <laughs> okay, which one should we do? Alright, so we know Brita is a good brand. It's a lot of Brita too. They have pure as well. I don't want a big old one. <clears throat> no, we don't have to get a brolic one. We have three to choose from. We have the stream, we have this one, and we have the elite. I think I'm going to go with the elite. Advanced carbon and core technology reduces more than actually I think this should be the way to go because we're gonna we're filtering the tap water And the tap water has you know pretty much we don't want to keep like spending a lot of money on water bottles So this is a good way to kind of lower your cost on the water bottles We don't just want to rely on it because if you just pour water in there and filter that out that you know You don't have to buy mad water bottles. So I think that leaves the way to go Yeah Target run is done. Time to head back to Albuquerque. It's gonna be a nice little 45 minute drive. Then when did 
they make this? What? That's on the Indian reservation too. That's why they can make that thing on there. Since what? Wow, I didn't know that. <laughs> Made a quick little pissed off before we head home. It's an open house. So we're gonna check out this cripple. I think it's probably like one people here. Mm -hmm. I already like the front door. All right, we just checked out this house and the guy there was very informative. We're actually going to look at another uh, location that he recommend. This place is beautiful because we're not trying to buy a house right now, but in the, we know that the house we're in right now is not our house going to be in forever. So we are trying to get an idea of what we want for our next house and uh, kind of like the layout what and it's really hard looking online you gotta look in person like that's why we go to open houses because you don't have to really not waste someone's time but you if you know you're not in the market for right now you know you don't want to be in somebody's face you know and they're on commission and blah 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 so we go to these open houses to um you put in gps um he also gave us a lot of good information as far as our house shopping because we didn't realize that the house that we have um I mean, it has equity, which just means like it's selling for more than what we purchased it for. And so if we, if we could take advantage of, of that, like take advantage of the fact that we can sell it for a good cost and then go into this next house with more room, um, more space, that it would be so ideal. So I, I think it's good that we're starting with this now. Yeah, this is the second house we open house we've been to so far and we're about to go to another area and like i said it's just helping us plan for the next crib like that way we have an idea we know the process we know what we want to do and uh, boom because the house market has gotten better but it's still pretty crazy especially when we bought our house it was a uh, it was a nightmare like 2020 covid just came out all types of craziness but it's good to take some time to kind of just figure things out and just know how things work so all right so we are <laughs> We're in um, one of the, I guess, show houses, whatever, in the other thingy, and this looks nice. I like the island. Now, I am a big fan of a huge thing, not the, the dual size, but this is really nice. Okay. Did you wanna go back this way and yes. then come back out? Yes, we're gonna look at everything. So, bigger like a pantry. pantry. Yeah, this pantry is bigger. All right, we looked at like a few homes, but look how dirty Ruby is. Never seen her this dirty ever. It's crazy. We're gonna get her washed. 